So we've made our way back to the office. We've realized we may have been a tiny bit harsh. It is still working. You can touch the screen. You could probably even take a picture. Yes, that, that does work. But the torment and the torture for this on a phone is not quite yet over. We've got one more trial for it to go through. So the manufacturer promises that you can dunk the phone into boiling hot water. We have prepared some to put this into now. So here we go. So it doesn't seem to be getting any worse. If, if anything, actually, it feels like the, uh, the screen is slightly clearer, but that might just be the water reflecting off it. Oh, I did see a little, oh. Oh, we've, I'm, going to, I'm going to very dangerously to touch the screen. I know I'm touching boiling water. We have some touch response. That's fine. That didn't quite kill it, but that's not going to stop us. I'm going to put this under the City AM coffee machine and order an Americano, and we're going to see what impact that has. We're debating whether it's gone to sleep or whether it's um, more destroyed than that. I'm quite worried about it because it does seem there's almost kind of heat bubbles forming. And this is probably hotter water than we were dealing with before because it's coming straight from the source. Oh, actually the screen's come back on. We're going to leave it to cool for a little bit. We're seeing some air bubbles forming, which is, I mean, understandable. <laughs> but I worry that that might, we might be closing in on the point where the entire touchscreen has, has failed. No. No, it is still, so it's, let's, let's no. see. No. So we're seeing a bit more green. We are seeing a slightly Shrek phone here. <laughs> Take a picture of Joe the cameraman. And it feels slightly night vision photography, but we're seeing there is a picture there. I think the conclusion here is that it can survive, but at what cost? Looks like this is the cost.